If you're looking for a totally delicious and versatile Tex-Mex salad, I've got just the thing. It's Fiesta corn and avocado salad. I'm gonna start with the corn. So let me tell you how I do this. First, I cut off the bottom of the corn so it'll stand up straight. And then I run my knife between the kernels and the husk, just straight down, and they all just come off. I cook this in salted boiling water for about five to seven minutes. Really depends on how tender the kernels are. So this is my system for cutting corn. Instead of having it bounce all over the kitchen, I get a sheet pan and a clean kitchen towel, and I just cut the kernels right onto the kitchen towel, just like this. So that's three years of corn. And then pick up the kitchen towel and just put all the kernels right into the bowl. That works, right? OK, the next thing I need cherry tomatoes. I've got one pint of cherry tomatoes. I use heirloom tomatoes because they look great. Cut in half through the stem. And then half a cup of red onion. Tex-Mex needs onion, right? And I've got one Holland pepper. And I'm going to show you how I cut it so that you have perfect little dice. Just cut it right down the sides like that. And you get flat pieces that you can dice really easily. I know there's some left over, but you can snack on it. So I'm just going to dice this in like half inch dice. You can use orange pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, or all three if you want a real fiesta. Somehow I think you should make this salad when corn is in season. You could use frozen corn, but it really never tastes the same. I sometimes serve this as a first course like a salad, but it's a great side dish or it's gorgeous on a buffet. Next is two jalapeno peppers. What I did was I seeded them, took those ribs out, and mince them really finely. Gives it a lot of heat. It's great. Makes it very Tex-Mex. OK, next is a lime vinaigrette, which is going to really wake up all these sort of Tex-Mex flavors. I'm starting with a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. I need two tablespoons of olive oil. One and a half teaspoons of lime zest. That's got a lot of flavor in it. Little garlic, just one teaspoon, minced garlic. And because it's Tex-Mex, quarter of a teaspoon of chipotle chili powder, which is chili powder, but it's got a little smokiness in it. One teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm just going to whisk it all together. I love these little whisks. I love making vinaigrette in a measuring cup. You can measure it and whisk at the same time. OK, I'm going to pour this over the salad. It's going to really be delicious. Think of all the flavors in this. Give it a big stir. Just make sure it's really well combined. It does look like a fiesta, doesn't it? It's going to be beautiful. And I have one more thing to add, avocado. What I did was I diced two avocados, and I tossed them with lemon juice just to keep them from turning brown. And I added at the end because I don't want it to get too mushed up. I want to see the diced avocado. OK, a little more salt and pepper. Make sure it's really well seasoned, because it is, after all, Tex-Mex. I'm just going to taste it just to make sure it's good. Mm, that's great. Got great heat, but it's also sweet from the corn and the tomatoes. Mm. OK, now I'm going to put it in a serving bowl. And while I do that, let me show you some ways that I love to serve the salad. So I use it in my roasted salmon tacos instead of guacamole for a real change. It's great on the side with slow roasted spiced pork or tequila lime chicken. It's wonderful on a food table, and it's always the first to go. But this is the way I usually serve it. Put it in the middle of the table for a first course, and everybody just helps themselves. And now you know why I call it a fiesta corn salad. It just looks like a fiesta. Yeah.